Hi everyone, Savannah here from Savannah Kids. Are you ready to take a stroll through the deep, dark woods? Let's sing the story, The Gruffalo, by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Axel Scheffler. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm, I'm going, going to have lunch with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks and his favourite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? I'm off, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a bravo. <laughs> On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully of you, Al, but no, I'm going to have tea with the Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by this stream and his favourite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream? To wit to woo. Goodbye, little mouse. And away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffer? On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake, and his favourite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake? It's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away Snake slid. Silly old Snake, doesn't he know There's no such thing as a gruffalo? <gasps> but who is this creature with terrible claws And terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, he has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help! Oh, no! It's a gruffalo! My favourite food, the gruffalo said, on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood.
Just walk behind me and soon you'll see Everyone is afraid of me All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter You go ahead and I'll follow after They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead It's Snake, said Mouse why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his lava pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's now. <laughs> said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his tree top house. You see, said the mouse. I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse. You see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is beginning to rumble. My favourite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble? The Gruffalo said. And quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut was... everyone, Savannah here from Savannah Kids. Do you have your musical instruments ready? We're going to sing the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun
caterpillar ate through one ice cream leaf. And after that, he felt so much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small everyone, Savannah here from Savannah Kids. I hope you've all got your warm coats and jackets ready because today we're travelling to Antarctica. Let's get ready to face our fears and sing the story Be Brave Little Penguin, written by Giles Andre and illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. In the cold Antarctic sunshine, where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones, there were penguins short and tall, but little penguin Pip Pip was the smallest one of all. And while the other penguins were out swimming wild and free, Little Pip Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Names like Scaredy Pip Pip sometimes echoed in his ears. He was sad and he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. What's the matter, Pip Pip? said his daddy one fine day. You can't be scared of water. What a silly thing to say Be gentle, said his mummy Taking Pip Pip by the hand We all have certain fears That might be hard to understand Come on little Pip Pip Dip your toes in here just so The water's calm and still Now do it slowly have a go but what if it's all freezing, Mummy? What if I get ill? And it's just too dark and deep for me. And what if I can't swim? And what if there are monsters there who smell me from their den? And they slither up and eat me, and I'm never seen. Darling, said his mummy with a kiss. But Pip Pip, what if now you try to think of it like this? What if in that water there are friends for you to meet? And what if it is light and warm and full of fish to eat? Take my hand, my darling. Just try it and you'll see Please trust me little Pip Pip Come be brave now just for me Slowly Pip Pip made his way toward the water's edge He stared down at the ocean from the slippery icy ledge 
for a while his mommy waited Then she cried out, something's wrong Pip, Pip, please, where are you? You've been under way too long So she leapt into the ocean Diving deep into the blue Then suddenly from nowhere Came a little voice she knew everyone, Savannah here from Savannah Kids. Do you know where we are today? That's right, we're at the witch's washing line. Shall we cast a spell to find out what story we're going to hear today? Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson The witch had a cat and a hat that was black And long ginger hair in a braid down her back And how the cat purred And how the witch grinned As they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground They searched for the hat but no hat could be found Then out of the bushes on thundering paws his tail and the stormy wind blew the witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat but away blew the bow from her braid just like that down cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the bow but no bow could be found then out of a tree then flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak She dropped it politely and bent her head low Then said as the witch tied 
find her in a bow. I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked quickly, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of the wand. Oh no, my wand! Down cried the witch, and they <laughs> flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then. Dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, soon the frog mounted on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Jumped with joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. And the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be. And which with my fries tastes delicious to me. Was a owl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It ripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you. But now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat, and who said the dog? Thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a belly, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well, and while she was stirring she muttered a spell. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. 
with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Hi everyone, Savannah here from Savannah Kids. Are you ready for an adventure in the Jingle Jangle Jungle? Let's sing the story, The Very Cranky Bear. Written and illustrated by Nick Bland. In the Jingle Jangle Jungle, on a cold and rainy day, little friends found a perfect place to play. Moose had marvellous antlers and lion a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes and sheep, well sheep was plain. None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in that cave was a very cranky bear. Roar! Went the cranky bear. Roar, roar, roar! He gnashed his teeth and stomped his feet and chased them out the door. So in the jingle, jangle, jungle, on a cold and rainy day, Nowhere warm to play. Oh dear! Where are we gonna play? Wait a minute, said Zebra, as she scratched her furry chin. Maybe if we cheered him up, he'd let us come back in. If I did not have stripes, said Zebra, I'd be cranky too. We should give that. Stripes, that's what we should do. Stripes are silly, Moose complained, especially on a bear. My antlers always cheer me up. Let's, Let's give, give that, that bear, bear a pair. No, 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 said Lion. Antlers are a bore. A golden mane like mine, he said. Would cheer him up for sure. So Zebra fetched a tin of mud and lion some grass of gold. Moose got two big branches and sheep. Well, sheep got cold. Sheep was getting worried. They'd be eaten up for sure. right behind them. They hid behind the bushes where they hoped he wouldn't find them. Why is he still cranky? He's got antler stripes and mane. Before we gave him those, Lion said, he looked so very plain. As Bear stormed back inside the cave, he turned and all I really want, he said, is a quiet place to sleep. So she fetched a pair of clippers and she clipped off half her wool. She stuffed it in a cotton bag until the bag was full. Then she tiptoed back inside the cave. Excuse me, bear, she said. Would you like a pillow for us? Underneath your head
Savannah here from Savannah Kids. And look who I found. The lovely fluffy sheep. Let's sing the story, Where is the Green Sheep? Written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Judy Horakek.
everyone, Savannah here from Savannah Kids. Are you ready to sing the story, Where the Wild Things Are? It was written and illustrated by Maurice Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him a thing And Max said, I'll eat you up So he was sent to bed without eating anything That very night in Max's room A forest grew and grew and grew until Ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and day, and in and out of weeks, and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their Let the wild rumpus start! sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away Across the world he smelled good things to eat So he gave up being king of where the wild things are But the wild things cried Oh please don't go, we'll eat you up, we love you so And Max said no The wild things roared their terrible roars And gnashed their terrible teeth And rolled their terrible eyes And showed their terrible claws But Max stepped into his private boat And waved goodbye Sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him and it was still hot. Thank you.
Hi everyone, Savannah here from Savannah Kids. Are you ready to go on a bear hunt? We're going on a bear hunt, we're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day, we're not scared. Ah, uh ah, -uh. grass, long wavy grass. We can't go over it, we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We're going on a bear hunt, we're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day, we're not scared. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. A river, a deep cold river We can't go over it, we can't go under it Oh no, we've got to go through it Splash, 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 splash We're going on a bear hunt, we're going to catch a big one What a beautiful day we're not scared of uh, uh, mud, thick oozy mud. We can't go over it, we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Squelch, 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 squelch. We're going on a bear hunt, we're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day, we're not scared. Ah, uh, ah, uh, a forest, a big dark forest. We can't go over it, we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble. A bear hunt, we're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day! We're not scared. Ah, uh, uh, a snowstorm, a swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it, we can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Ah, uh, ah, uh, a cave, a narrow, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through. Storm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Back through the forest, stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip. Back through the mud, squelch, 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 squelch. Back through the river, splash, 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 splash. Back through the grass, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Get to our front door, open the door, up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. Back downstairs, shut the door. Back upstairs, into the bedroom, into bed, under the covers. We're never going on a bear hunt. Okay.